maybe not too long. Hopefully, y'all sticking with me. We back up to 52 again. Let's go. JFB, you asked me, do I think it will pass? Yes, it's going to pass. It is going to pass. It's going to pass. Some people are filing witness slips. Got to say, I filed a witness slip too, opposing it. Right? I did. I did. Promise I did. I got the email to prove it. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. They have enough people to make it happen. And by I mean people, I mean state senators and House representatives. I got a secret to tell y'all. But I can't because this is a secret. Ah! I can't tell you. But I know there are some interested parties. Keep reading, Michael. Don't you do it. 720 ILCS 5, Section 24-1.9. Manufacture, possession, delivery, sale, and purchase of assault weapons, 50 caliber rifles, and 50 caliber cartridges. Definition in this section. Assault pistol means any of the following or a copy regardless of the producer or manufacturer. AA Arms AP9 pistol, Armalite M15 11.5 pistol. I would imagine that's the barrel length. Beretta 93R pistol, Bushmaster pistol, Claridge High Tech pistol, D-Max Industries pistol, EKO Cobra pistol, Encom Mark IV MP9 or MP45 pistol. Those are variants of HK. Right. Yeah, you know it. Here we go. Heckler and Kosh, MP5K, MP7, SP89, VP70 pistol. Holmes, MP83 pistol. Some of y'all Google it right now. With your fingers. Speaking of finger, not right now. We'll come back to it. Here we go. Uh, Ingram, Mac 10, okay, Mac 11 pistol and variations, including the Partisan Avenger and the S. <laughs> How many of y'all about to go look this up? How many of y'all about to go look this up? How many of y'all about to go look this up? Y'all like, shit, what is a, what is a pause type pistol? <laughs> I kind of want to know who let the dogs out. Pause type pistol. It's not what it means. Scorpion, okay, Scorpion pistol. Spectre, a uh, Spectre, double action pistol, Sile, F I E, Mitchell, a hey, moment of honesty. Some of these pistols, I don't even know what they are. Oh my god, some of them I do, some of them I don't. Uh, what's this? Stetchkin, automatic pistol, Stayer, tactical pistol, Uzi pistol. Who doesn't know what Uzi is, right? Weaver Arms, Nighthawk pistol, Wilkinson, Linda pistol. You know what they did? They went through all the <laughs> <laughs> y'all ain't shit they went through all the gun buybacks they went through all the gun <laughs> oh my god they went through all the gun buybacks and they <laughs> looked at all those guns that people turned in shit they just didn't even want and said that's a good idea let's add this to the list as a firearms trainer gunsmith i have one question who created the term assault pistol fuck i don't know Hey, Joshua, I don't know. Educate me if you do. I don't know. <laughs> Assault shotgun is in it. Some of y'all are reading the head. Here we go. Uh, oh, you saw it right there. Assault shotgun or rifle means the following or a copy regardless of the producer or the manufacturer. And I want you to understand how slick they made it. They didn't define the term. They just listed the pistol or the rifle. And that's the definition. They didn't define the, the, the function or operation. They just listed the name as the definition. Did y'all see that? Here we go. American Arms Spectre does semi-automatic carbine, right? <laughs> AR-10, AR-15, AR-70. And those of you who are like, uh-uh, ar doesn't mean assault rifle. It means Armalite. Well, then they listen it. Armalite M15. Y'all should, that's what y'all get for trying to make shit technically correct. This is when being technically correct backfires, right? No, 
Let's educate the public on what it means. And here they are like, I, what does it mean? <laughs> oh my God, fuck. Here we go. Um, was it Automat? That's supposed to be uh, you. It's not, but you get it, right? It's Russian. Kalashnikov, semi-automatic Mac rifle in any form. They got smart with this one, right? In any form. So that's an AK, right? Semi-automatic rifle in any form, including the AK-47 in all forms. ALL, stain lifting. That's including the Stava M85. Oh, about to sell it. Here we go. The I'm not reading that. Algemic, that's what it looks like. Algemic, okay? AGM-1 type semi-auto. The AR-100 type semi-auto. Look, can we have a slingshot? Can somebody... All right. An AR 180 type semi-auto, Argentine LSR semi-auto, Australian automatic arms, SAR type semi-auto. These are all from the gun buybacks. This shit is all from the gun buybacks. <laughs> They got the hear ye, hear ye 5,000 on there. Oh, my God, the spitball. You said, does it exist? Boom, not anymore. Oh, my God, they are just something else. They have went wild with this. That's what we get for trying to educate them. We should have just let them just figure this shit out for themselves. Now, every gun by <laughs> Chicago, y'all smart. Y'all smart. Illinois, y'all smart. <clears throat> they went through every gun by back gun and added a name that probably didn't even exist. I mean, it existed, but y'all didn't know it. I didn't know it either. Here we go. Auto Ordnance, Thompson M1 and 1927 uh, semi-automatics, Barrett Light 50 Cal semi-auto, Barrett AR-70 type semi-auto, Bushmaster semi-auto rifle, Calco models, <laughs> M100 and M900, CIS, if you just put an N in front of it, you got NCIS coming soon. No, all right. CIS, SR, they're about to ban NCIS next. 88 type semi-auto, Claridge high-tech C9 carbines, Colt AR-15, CAR-15, and all imitations except the Colt AR-15 Sporter H-Bar rifle. Speaking of which, the Colt... AR-15 Sporter, H-Bar Rifle is banned. Oh, my God. Hold on. Oh, the Daewoo. How many of y'all remember Daewoo? Y'all know that's a car dealer, right? Old car dealer. Here we go. Are they proposing this? Oh, for sure. This is the bill that's up for consideration now, okay? Um, here we go. The Daewoo Max 1 and Max 2, a.k.a. otherwise known as... AR-100, they talked to some experts for this one, boy. L-110C, K-1, and K-2. The Druganov, Chinese-made semi-auto. Famas, semi-auto. That's French, right? So those of y'all played Metal Gear Solid, you know what this is. 223 caliber. Uh, I believe that's what it is. Famas, I remember that name. Okay, here we go. Feather, AT-9 semi-auto. The FN, LAR, or FN, FAL assault rifle. Oh, my God. You just put Eagle Sports Rage out of business. Here we go. The FNC, semi-auto type carbine. FIE, Franchi, LAW, or the Law, 12. The SPAS, 12, assault shotgun. The Smith & Wesson, MMP-15. The Stair, Aug, uh, SA, semi-auto. I think that's an Australian one. The, the Galil model, AR and arm semi-auto. Heckler and Koch, HK91, A3, HK93, A2, HK94, A2, and A3. All, I believe, M16, M4 variants usually made for their civilian versions of what Navy SEALs and Spec Ops use, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> William said assault kidney beans. That's all you're going to be able to use. Assault kidney beans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> James, 
Put what else you think is banned, the HK catalog banned. You can't even read it. You can't even read it. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. The HK, those are HK AR-15 M4 variants for Navy SEALs. Right, here we go. Oh, it's not over with. Holmes model. <laughs> Don't the Holmes model 88 shotgun sound like some shit they use in the civil rights movement? Here we go. Holmes model 88 shotgun. I told you that was a gun buyback shit. Man, uh, Manchester Arms Commando MK uh, Mark 45, Mark 9. I believe it's Mark or MK45, MK9. Uh, Mendel TAC 1 semi auto carbine. Ma I'm going to tell you one thing they didn't mention, but I'm not going to tell you here because they're going to mention that shit. Mossberg Model 500 Bullpup Assault Shotgun. Sterling Mark 6 Pause Carbine. Who let the dogs out? Here we go. Ruger Mini 14 Folding Stock Model 223 Caliber Sig 550 and 551 Assault Rifle. They went to Eagle Sports Range and took a picture of all the guns in the cabinet. Do you hear me? Um, SKS with detachable magazine, AP 74 Commando Semi Auto, um, Springfield Armory BM 59 SAR 48. Some of y'all are in your, some of y'all listening to the On the Mic with Mike podcast. You are in your gun cabinet right now, just hoping I don't call your gun or rifle or assault shotgun or bull pup pause who let the dogs out trust me i'm coming down that road here we go springfield armory bm 59 sar 48 g3 sar3 m21 sniper rifle so those of you who used to be snipers in the military you won't even be able to use your your platforms you won't even be able to use it. Here we go. The M1A1, excluding the M1 Garand. How many of y'all going to SpringfieldArmory.com right now and purchase the M1 Garand? All oh, street sweeper, assault type shotgun. Gun in all formats. Unique F11 semi-auto type. Don't that sound like she wears lashes and lace fronts. I'm sorry, y'all. The Daewoo USAS uh, uh, 12 semi-auto shotgun. Uzi uh, 9mm carbino rifle. The Valmet M76 and M78 semi-auto. I'm going to just put some pictures on this. The Weaver Arms Nighthawk semi-auto carbine. Wilkinson Arms 9mm semi-auto Terry. Right, assault weapon means an assault shotgun or rifle, an assault pistol, a semi-autic centerfire rifle that can accept a detachable magazine and has at least one of the following. Those of you all who haven't paid attention, you know they have shotguns with detachable magazines, right? Mm. Mm. Here we go. It's not over, y'all. A folding or telescoping stock, any grip of the weapon, including a pistol grip, thumb hole stock, or any other stock, the use of which would allow an individual to grip the weapon, resulting in any finger on the trigger hand, in addition to the trigger finger being directly below any portion of the action of the weapon when firing. A forward pistol grip a flash suppressor, a grenade launcher, or flare launcher. So you can't even use a flare launcher? We can't have shit. You can't even use a flare launcher. You know they sell them, right? <sighs> a semi-automatic centerfire rifle that has an overall less length of 30 inches. I might have read that wrong. A semi-auto pistol that can accept a detachable magazine and has at least one of the following. The ability to accept a detachable ammo magazine that attaches at some location outside of the pistol grip. A threaded barrel uh, capable of accepting a flash suppressor. <laughs> so that... Uh, 
a forward pistol grip or silencer, which is a suppressor, right? A shroud that is attached to or partially completely encircles the barrel that permits the shooter to fire the firearm without being burned, except a slide that encloses the barrel. A second hand grip, semi automatic shotgun that has both of the following. Here we go. What did I tell y'all if it was underlined? It's new. <sighs> Wasn't there before. A folding or telescoping stock. Any grip of the weapon, including a pistol grip, thumb hole stock. Y'all know what all that is. Here we go. Semi-automatic shotgun that has the ability to accept a detachable magazine. Some of y'all going to be selling a lot of your stuff if this stuff passed. Where you going to sell it to? Where you going to sell it to if the gun store can't even possess it or purchase it or sell it? Where you going to sell it to? But you got to register with the state police. A shotgun with a revolving cylinder. A semi-automatic pistol with a fixed magazine that can accept more than 10 rounds. Not a detached one, a fixed one. A semi-automatic centerfire rifle that has a fixed magazine that it can accept more than 10 rounds. An assault weapon does not include. Here we go. An assault weapon does not include. An assault weapon does not. <laughs> JMB. Joshua said, this is depression on a page. Oh, my God. So you just supposed to drift in Lake Michigan. That's what it is. Oh, my God. Here we go. An assault weapon does not include any firearm that is manually operated by bolt, pump, Lever or slide action. That's the M1 Garrett. <sighs> an, an unserviceable firearm that has been made permanently inoperable. That's also the M1 Garrett in certain cases. ROTC uh, drill, rifle and drill teams use those, right? An unserviceable, that's it already? Okay. Is an antique firearm. Uses rim fire ammunition or cartridges. How many of y'all going to get 22s? Here's something. A 22 with a hollow point mushrooms up to what centimeter? Test question. Is an antique firearm, I just said that already, has been excluded as an assault weapon in the Illinois Department of Natural Resources rule. The Department of Natural Resources shall have the authority to adopt rules to further define exclusions of an assault weapon, right? <clears throat> as long as the make, model, and caliber of the firearm excluded has a viable application to hunting game and conforms to accepting, accepted hunting principles of fair chase. Any air rifle, right? And again, in this section, a firearm is considered to have a detachable mag uh, the ability to accept a detachable magazine if, I'm sorry, unless the magazine, sorry, I got a drink. Or ammunition feeding device can only be removed through disassembly of the firearm action. Assault weapon attachment means any device capable of being attached to a firearm that is specifically designed or for making or converting a firearm into any of the firearms listed in paragraph one of subsection A. Antique firearm, look it up. 50 caliber rifle, you know what that is, right? We're not talking about muzzle loader or black powder for historical or hunting, I'm sorry, historical reenactments or hunting. 50 caliber cartridge, including 50 BMG. The term 50 caliber cartridge does not include any memorabilia or display item that is filled with a permanent inert substance or that is otherwise permanently altered in a manner that prevents its ready modification for use as live ammunition. I got 250 caliber pins. Actual pins that are in the shape of, did you say that's a lot of words? Shut up, JFB. <laughs> JFB, you're correct. In mushrooms to a nine millimeter, okay? 
Uh, a, a 22 caliber hollow point mushrooms to what diameter, right? Uh, here we go. A detachable magazine means an ammunition feeding device that can be removed readily from a firearm without requiring disassembly of the firearm action or without use of a tool, including a bullet or a cartridge. Other definitions. Just looking for some important parts. Feel free to go online and look it up yourself. Right. I'm not reading all of these for the purposes of time. Not that I don't want to, but I don't want to. Make sense? Okay. Beginning 300 days after the effective date of this amendatory act of the 102nd General Assembly, the person with a registered assault weapon or 50 caliber rifle may transfer the rifle only to an heir or individual residing in another state, maintaining it in another state, or a dealer licensed as a federal firearms dealer under Section 923 of the Federal Gun Control Act of 68. That's a lot. Oh, for the purposes of registration required under subsection E, the Illinois State Police shall assess a registration fee of $25 per person to the owner of an assault weapon and $25 to the person uh, per person to the owner of a 50 caliber rifle. The fee shall be deposited in the State Police Firearm Services Fund for holiday parties, bar mitzvahs, and Kanye West bashing fest. I'm not touching that. That was just something funny to say. Moving on. That's not what the law says at all. And these comments are not the comments of the Illinois State Police or Ye, formerly known as Kanye West. Keep going. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, this section does not apply to peace officers. Wardens, superintendents, and keepers of prisons members of the armed services, any company that employs armed security officers in this state at a nuclear energy storage weapons or development site or facility regulated by the Federal Nuclear Regulatory Commission, I'm just looking through, trying to pick out some of the things. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about armed security officers. Okay. Any person who normally manufactures, delivers, or sells, purchases, or possesses, or calls to be manufactured, delivered, sold, purchased, or possessed, in violation of this section, an assault weapon attachment, class four felony. Violation of the assault weapon or, sorry, possession of the assault weapon. You get it. Manufactures, delivers, sells, possesses, purchases. You got it. Class three for the first time. Class two for the second time. <sighs> or if you have two or more of these weapons at the same time on the first time, class two. All right, here we go. New, new, new. Did I tell you all that this was equivalent to the Clinton crime control bill, the Violent Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act of 1994? Section, strike that. 720 Illinois Compiled Statutes Act 5, Section 24-1.10. New, manufacture, delivery, or sale of large capacity ammunition feeding devices, otherwise known as magazines. In this section, large capacity ammunition feeding device means one, a magazine belt, drum, feed strip, or a similar device 
that has the capacity of or that can readily, I'm sorry, be readily restored or converted to accept more than 10 rounds of ammo. Break out your 10 round magazines. We going back to the Clinton crime bill era. Here we go. Number two, any combination of parts from which a device described in paragraph one can be assembled. Large capacity ammunition feeding device does not include an attached tubular device designed to accept and capable of operating only with 22 caliber rimfire ammunition. Ah! How many are ready to buy magazines now? Did they even make? Do they even still make 10 round magazines like that? Do they even still? You said, Joshua, Joshua, you are wishful thinking. Joshua Johnson said, this is not going to pass. Well, I hope it doesn't. Newsflash, you and I both know it has a high, H-I-G-H, -H, high chance of passing. It has a high chance of passing. Here we go. Oh, we're getting that time. Sorry to tell you, Here we go. Large capacity. I just said that. A uh, large capacity ammunition feeding device does not include a tubular magazine that is contained in a lever action firearm or any device that has been made permanently operable. The section does not apply to peace officers. Local law enforcement agencies. Wardens, superintendents, and keepers of prisons, members of the armed services, company that employs armed security officers in this state at nuclear facilities. A person, this is the sentence. Sorry, I got to Yeah. A person who knowingly sells, delivers, purchases, or causes to be delivered sold or purchased in violation of this section a large capacity ammo feeding device capable of holding more than 10 rounds of ammo commits a class three felony. Your Honor, for the record, Mike Brown seeking leave to file my appearance on behalf of the defendant who appears in court. We're answering ready for preliminary hearing. Damn it. Is what your attorney would say because Mike Brown is not an attorney and this is not legal advice. Class three felony for the first violation and a class two felony for the second or subsequent violation or for delivery or possession of two or more of these devices at the same time. Any other violation is a class A misdemeanor. And that's the end. Section 99 effective date takes effect upon becoming law. So just the mere possession. We'll read it again. A person who knowingly delivers, sells, purchases, or causes to be delivered, sold, or purchased in violation of this section, large capacity ammo feeding devices capable of holding 10 rounds I said like I think I think I said possession. I might be wrong. Because it said it doesn't say possession, it says delivers, sells, purchases, same thing. Sorry, purchases is possession. That's a good question. How do you know I purchase it? How you know I just I don't try. You're gonna be in trouble. You're gonna be in trouble. This is horrible. All right, so that's the end of it. I told you we was going to read it all the way through. Most stuff we read it. Some stuff we didn't read. You're more than welcome to go back through. I don't know if there has been anybody else who has actually covered it by looking at the actual bill. Those of you all who are still hanging on, sound off in the comments. Have you seen... Have you seen people actually put the bill on the screen and actually go through it and read it? Those of you all who will be listening, 
to the On the Mic with Mike podcast. This is some good listening to, right? I'm going to post it up. I'm going to get the audio and I'm going to post it up, right? On the Mic with Mike podcast. Anywhere where podcasts are available. Apple Podcast, right? Apple Podcast, Spotify. You said, no, I'm the only one so far. Yay. <laughs> uh, you said, I have not. You're the only one I've seen that does this. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I clap cheeks. <laughs> That's a hell of a name. Speaking of clapping cheeks. Should be crying, but I no. <laughs> you gotta put it in the right way, Mike. This woman's word. This woman's word. Get a safe and twerk. No. You want to, oh, so you don't want to put, but you want to touch it. Okay. Get you a safe and secure those things. This woman's word. This woman's word. MagSaves.com. When my link work. When my link work. I clap cheeks. Ha, ha, ha.